वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक ऑफ द प्लांट एनाटॉमी दैट इज नॉन एज द वेस्कुलर टिश्यू सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दैट वॉट इज वेस्कुलर बंडल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टाइप्स ऑफ द वेस्कुलर बंडल बिकॉज नाउ वी नो वेरी वेल दैट वॉट इज वेस्कुलर बंडल सो नाउ वी आर एबल टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ द वेस्कुलर बंडल ऑल टूगेदर देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द वेस्कुलर बंडल्स first one is known as the conjoint vascular bundle the second one is known as the radial vascular bundle and the third one is known as the concentric vascular bundle okay now let's have a look on the conjoint vascular bundle what do you mean by conjoint conjoint means what that the xylem and the phloem are found on the same radii they are not found on the different radii say for this is a conjoint vascular bundle in which i have made here the phloem and i have made here the xylem here you can see that the xylem and the phloem are found on the same radii they are not found on the different radii see here here in the case of the roots you can see that xylem and phloem are present on the different radii they are present on the different radii right so they are radial vascular bundle but here in the conjoint vascular bundle the xylem and the phloem are found on the same radii they are not found like this type they are not found separately they are found on the same radii and when the xylem and the phloem are found on the same radii then such type of the vascular bundles are called as what the conjoint vascular bundle conjoint means together together they are found on the same radii okay and this conjoint vascular bundle is the feature of all the stems no matter whether the stem is a monocot stem or a dicot stem all the stems are having conjoint vascular bundle this is the universal feature of the stems now these conjoint vascular bundles are actually divided into two categories one is known as the collateral vascular bundle and the another one is known as the bicollateral vascular bundle but in maximum cases in maximum cases in majority of the stems which condition is found collateral condition is found that is the vascular bundle is collateral while in the case of the cucker beta stem i am encircling this stem known as the cucker beta stem in cucker beta stem in cucker beta stem the vascular bundles are bicollateral vascular bundle you know about the cucker beta cucker beta is a family in which all the ingredients are included say for i can say watermelon the legionaries okay all these are included in what the cucker beta family now conjoint vascular bundle the first one the first type of the conjoint vascular bundle known as the collateral vascular bundle collateral vascular bundle is the feature of majority of the stem what does the collateral vascular bundle suggest that in a collateral vascular bundle phloem is always found towards the periphery and xylem is present towards the center we cannot write opposite if we write here xylem and here phloem then that is not a collateral vascular bundle that is wrong okay always there is a trend of writing that in a collateral vascular bundle phloem is present towards the periphery that is towards outside and xylem is facing towards the center axis okay so this is a collateral vascular bundle okay now the collateral vascular bundle is again classified into two categories if in a collateral vascular bundle if in a collateral vascular bundle can be mis present if can be mis present in a collateral vascular bundle then the vascular bundle will be called as open vascular bundle and which is the feature of the dicots which is the feature of dicots and what is a closed vascular bundle so a collateral vascular bundle a collateral vascular bundle in which the cambium is absent it will be called as a closed vascular bundle and closed vascular bundle is the feature of the monocots and in them because the cambium is absent in the case of the monocots so no secondary growth occur and here in the case of the dicots the collateral vascular bundles are open they are having the cambium and because of the presence of the cambium they are responsible for the secondary growth okay so all together we can say that conjoint vascular bundle is the feature of the stem okay now coming to the second type of the conjoint vascular bundle and that is known as the bicollateral vascular bundle now what is this bicollateral vascular bundle here i have written and also i have drawn the diagram 
that is suggesting that xylem is sandwiched in between the two phloem. Here, what is here? This is xylem, and in between the xylem, what is present uh, in uh, either side of the xylem? What is present? The phloem is present. So this is xylem, and on either side of the xylem, what is present? Phloem. So can I say that xylem is sandwiched between the phloem? Xylem is sandwiched between the phloem. Okay. Now see what is the arrangement. Here is the xylem. Xylem is present at the center. Okay. So this is xylem. And here is the phloem. This is called as outer phloem. This is called as inner phloem. And in between the outer phloem and the xylem, what is present? Outer cambium is present. And in between the in between the xylem and the inner phloem, what is present? Inner cambium is present. Such an arrangement is called as what? Bicolateral vascular bundle. Again, I am repeating. This is outer phloem. This is outer cambium. This is xylem. This is inner cambium. This is inner phloem. We can say that xylem is sandwiched in between the two phloems. That is, xylem is present at the center, and on either side of the xylem, what is present? Phloem is present. But this bicolateral vascular bundle is only, only, and only found in the Cucurbitaceae family. It means in the Cucurbitaceae stem, such bicolateral vascular bundles are found. Now, coming to the second type of the vascular bundle, coming to the second type of the vascular bundle, and the second type of the vascular bundles are called as radial vascular bundle. Now, there is a great difference between the conjoint vascular bundle and the radial vascular bundle. Very first, you must know that conjoint vascular bundle was the feature of stems, while the radial vascular bundles are the feature of roots. They are the feature of roots. Okay, and in the conjoint vascular bundle, xylem and phloem were found on the same radii. But here you can see that xylem and phloem are not found on the same radii. They are found on the different radii. Xylem is present. Xylem and phloem are present at different radii. Xylem is present separately. Phloem is present separately. And also, what the thing you have to notice is that the xylem and the phloem are found in alternate fashion. See here, xylem, phloem, xylem, phloem, xylem, phloem. They are found in alternate fashion and also you have to remember this thing that the number of the xylem is equal to number of phloem number of xylem is equal to number of phloem okay so this is the second type of the vascular bundle known as the wrist radial vascular bundle and it is the feature of roots now coming to the third one which are little bit rare which are little bit rare okay and these type of the vascular bundles are called as the consent vascular bundles now what is concentric vascular bundle first of all you must know about the term concentric concentric means what either of the vascular tissue either of the vascular tissue vascular tissue means what here xylem and phloem are the vascular tissues so either of the vascular tissue surrounds the other means what what i want to say either the xylem is surrounded by the phloem or we can say that the phloem is surrounded by the xylem okay either xylem is found is it surrounded by the phloem or the phloem is surrounded by the xylem both the conditions may be present now let's have a look that concentric vascular bundles are of two types okay one is known as amphisibral or it is also called as hydrocentric and the second one is known as amphivessel amphivessel or it is also called as leptocentric now to make the things easy you must know that from where this hydrocentric word is actually coming from hydrome there is a word used for the xylem and that the word which is used for the xylem is known as the hydrome we also call xylem as hydrome and we also call phloem as what leptome so these hydrocentric words are actually coming from the hydrome and this leptocentric word is actually coming from what the leptome it's very easy now so you can see hydrocentric Hydrocentric means what? When xylem is present at the center and it is surrounded from all sides by the phloem, then such a type of the concentric vascular bundle is known as amphisibral or hydrocentric type of the vascular bundle. And these hydrocentric type of the vascular bundles are the feature of the two plants. One is known as the lycopodium and another is known as what? The salinginella and the last one that is known as the amphivasal vascular bundle which is also called as the leptocentric vascular bundle leptocentric means what the word lepto is coming from leptome lepto means what phloem means it is very much clear that at the center what is present phloem and phloem is surrounded from all the sides by the xylem so these two cases are totally different here xylem is present at the center and phloem is surrounding it 
and here the phloem is present at the center and xylem is surrounding it in it that's why these are called as what the concentric vascular bundles and the best example of the leptocentric vascular bundle is the yucca and the dracaena yucca and the dracaena so students this was about the three types of the vascular bundles one is known as the conjoint vascular bundle another is known as the radial vascular bundle and the third one is known as the concentric vascular bundle we will be coming soon with few more videos on the plant anatomy keep watching subscribe my channel also comment like and share my video thanks a lot